<laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Hello. And welcome back to Life is Strange. So we're still in the alternate universe. Still at alternate Chloe's house. But now we get to explore the whole place. Before we talk to William, who is still alive, take a look at some things around here. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Ugh, Victoria, not... Not now. Please. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Joyce and William are... Very, very good parents. But hey, we can check the newspaper headline. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. We can see uh, Nathan's family vowing to provide extra research funds to figure out what happened with the whales. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. And that's something else that I probably should have mentioned in the previous video, but neglected to. Rachel is still missing. So whatever caused her to disappear, we did not fix. Seems like the only thing we really fixed was William is still alive. But hey, our graffiti's still here. Yep, that's the same graffiti from before. What is William looking at? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Yikes. Payable by August 1st, and if you remember, we're in October. Yikes. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Oh, thank God for dad jokes. I'm probably going to go through all of the available options to talk with William here, because he's great. I was impressed by Chloe's room and... All the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, 
I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay? Or is it? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might... Lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. And there we heard that Joyce has taken a second job from the Prescotts. Assumedly still working at the Two Whales. As she always does in every reality. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, William. <sighs> no change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. It is nice that the Price family finally got to take their trip to Paris. Max, it is so nice to have you around. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Also, we can see on this counter, she's still got that necklace Chloe made her. She has that in every reality. I think that's nice. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. I also think it's worth mentioning, I like how much nicer their house is overall. Things seem... It's good for Chloe to stay in touch with her friends. That's true, Joyce. But things seem just better cared for in general and cleaner. Also, there's not a freaky camera in this closet now. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. And here we see a letter from one of Chloe's doctors that uh, her respiratory system is failing and that it's bad. Hmm. 
Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. What could she possibly have to say about David Madsen? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just... curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, it's worth mentioning, David's not a security officer at Blackwell in this universe. And it makes me wonder if, when he married Joyce in the other universe, Chloe was still going to Blackwell, and that's what motivated him into becoming a security officer there. Who knows? Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. Joyce, things are so much better now, you don't even know. But poor Joyce, and her life is very hard, no matter what reality she's in. What do you think they've done with Chloe's room, since she doesn't use it now? They've done nothing with it. A blue butterfly? 
I'm sure this is a total coincidence. At least we never had to hide from Step Douche. I guess we stopped growing up together. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. I never heard much about William's brother. We can see in this room they have uh, one or two letters from family members sending messages after Chloe's accident. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. This empty room, it's always just really heartbreaking to me. So let's move the story forward and pick up the supplies that Chloe needed from the bathroom. Still no toilet paper, even in this reality. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Make sure to remember to turn the lights off to save electricity. Their bills are already high enough. This insurance is worthless. Gonna say fucking, but not gonna say fucking. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. I like that she mentions her diary is emo ground zero, even though this version of Max never actually kept her diary. It's our version of Max who's saying that, really. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh 
my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. So we've hit our first big decision for episode four. In this alternate universe, this Chloe wants to die, and we can help her. Do we accept or refuse? This is one of the only choices where we're given this I don't know option. And I'm going to select that now since it doesn't move anything forward. It just lets us see a little more dialogue. Chloe, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wanted to end it all. And I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean... There's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, th I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. So, do we honor Chloe's wishes? Or do we... Oh, my god, there's... This is a really hard choice. And... I'm not going to show you what choosing each one does. I think you know what choosing each one does. And when you guys vote to make this decision, this is a final decision. So, please vote in the straw poll provided. Thanks for joining me. <laughs>